Man Stingray Grub, Winko's Chili Willy, Confidence Baits Bird and Reaper, and Backwoods Angler's Kris Kringle Worm. What do they all have in common? They're finesse, they're bottom bouncers, they mimic bottom dwelling bait fish, and their subtle action can coax a smallmouth to bite in the nastiest of winters. When bulkier, more overt action soft plastics fail to produce, rig one of these simple lures on a jig head or dragon head and hold on. The big fish parade is about to begin. Here comes some presentation specifics from the anglers who rely upon them when the bite is tough. Oh my, how big you think? Very nice. Nice, the reaper strikes again. Makes it all worthwhile being out here on a cold day. <laughs> It was just loaded up like weight. It felt like a stick on the end of the line until it shook its head. So you felt a throb at some point? After it had been hooked. I mean, at first, when he must have took it, all I felt was weight, like a stick floating downstream had hung up on it. And I put like two reels on the reel handle, two cranks, and then I felt the weight and the head shake. Beautiful. The Black Reaper. Now what size head are you using on that one, Roy? I've got actually a 16th ounce on this. Uh, I'm trying to fish as light as I can. Uh, I think the baits actually were fishing eddies along the shoreline. And I'm pretty sure that what's happening is I'm casting out and current in the eddy itself is moving the bait along the bottom just like it might be a minnow or something moving across the bottom uh, it's doing its own action I'm not doing anything to it I'm not reeling it I'm not dragging it I'm just letting the current move it itself now Chris you got it you're kind of on the other end of the spectrum you're using something what weight are you using I'm using a quarter ounce it's quite a bit quite a bit heavier so four times as heavy right and I, I've got one on a football head, and this is this is going to sit in the bottom, and that tail's going to move around, and I'm literally inching its way across the bottom. I'm, I have total contact at all times with the bait. So you can feel it, and you can't. Not really. Okay. Results are very similar. The, the, the amazing part is our results are very similar. Yeah, so you guys are both catching. What's the common? The commonality is that little profile black black worm. Small profile bait moving slowly across the bottom. Yep. Nice fish. Extremely small profile in all the fish today. I think there's five so far. All five have come on small profile baits. Right? We've had hits on the bigger ones, but the fish have actually taken it. And that fish crushed it. That's on your crinkle cut? That's on a crinkle cut worm, yep. It's our black and blue model. We call it bruiser for that reason. But it's really, whoops. It's really nothing special. It's just a little two and a half, three inch worm is all that is. It's very, it's very simple. They like it. They like it a lot. That's a bigger fish. He thumped it. Oh yeah, that's a good one. That's a nice one on the winter kill bird. Oh. Sweet. Nice tall one. They are scavengers. I mean that that bird, that paddle tail grub was just sitting on bottom and he picked it up. And typically this time of year you see a lot of those dead 
sometimes they're they're shad fry. Sometimes they're um, I don't know sculpins, but it's winter kill. It's it's minnows and darters and stuff that gets killed in the winter and the shock of you know um, it getting warm then cold, warm then cold. So he just scavenged up a little minnow for himself. 19 inches, four pound, three ounce. Yeah, you guys doing any good? Nah. What are you using? Little paddle tail grubs. You want a couple? Yeah, if you don't mind. I don't, I don't know what paddle tail grubs. I'll let him go. Give these guys a couple birds. How do you work? I just dead stick them. You just set them out there and let them sit. I'll bring you a few. All right, I'm rigging that winter kill bird on the. This is the eighth ounce dragon head. I'll rig up three or four of them for these guys and help them catch a couple. These are called birds. Yep. And I, I hand pour them. That's you what? I hand pour them and I pour the, the jig heads. The jig head's called a dragon head. And they're, they're real good for not snagging up. That's what Mike was using. Yeah. Same color. Okay, I'm sticking with the same color, but I'm going to play around with a slightly different bait. <clears throat> this one's called a Reaper. Reaper's a thinner profile bait. Does real well in the, uh, in the winter. This one's got ribs on it. The ribs are very good for holding that that mega strike or whatever scent you want to use. Holds it in there real well. Oh, he is nice. He's just that one. Woo. Just engulfed it. Just engulfed it. It's another one. Again, cold day, 43 degrees, nice slow presentations. Picking up fish, picking them up slowly but surely. This one I I didn't even feel him. He was the other fish I've been feeling had tapped the bait. I felt a tap. This one actually I just just basically felt weight on the end, just like mushy leaves, just weight on the end of my line, and he was there. Nice big one. It's a Winko's Chili Willy made by Winko's Custom Lures. I've just started fishing this bait really about three weeks ago. Um, it's a, it's a uh, bait that imitates a minnow, really. If you look at it, it's got a very flexible tail on it. And this flexible tail, even when the bait's at rest, provides action to the bait. And what I'm doing out here, there's a series of ledges. And all I'm doing with the bait is I'm drifting with the current and using my paddling, one-handed paddling technique to slow myself a little bit. And I'm actually dragging this bait over the ledges, and you can see it'll it'll rest on the ledge. The current will make the, the uh, tail move, but then I'm dragging it and letting it drop down into the ledge trench. When it's dropping down in the ledge trench, I'm just letting it sit. I'm letting it sit for 10, 15, 20 seconds. The bait's rigged with a 1 8 ounce jig head today because with the current we've got, it's not a tremendous amount of current. So I'm using a 1 8 ounce football head. The jig head itself. Uh, will drop and then it'll at rest it'll be tail up and this bait when it drops down tails going fish sees it it's sitting there right in their face they're just gonna move over suck it up and I'm feeling a tap and then I'm just gonna set the hook that's all it is just slow 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 winter fishing dragging the bait over the ledge trenches letting it get in the trench boom fish on 